Okay, so I just got the pups some food. And also groceries. All right, today we're gonna try out the Sprong. This looks awesome. Fuzzy, squeaky, sprung, chewy, floaty, squishy thing. Neat. I only got one because they're kind of expensive. They're like seven bucks. And then I got this nylon bone. They always like these. And this is so the other dog won't get jealous if the other dog has a toy. Let's put all this away. Oh my God, barely fits. Heck yeah. another episode of 60 formula you're looking at Gila the husky trying out her brand new toy we're gonna talk about this toy we just talked about how to save money on toys and why you shouldn't be buying toys but right now we're gonna review a toy and see if this toy is worth it or not what do you think lady you like this thing or no whoop boo catch it so come with me will you to review the toy called Sprong. Is it good? Is it bad? Will it make your doggy mad? We're about to find out on another episode of 60 Formula. All right, we've got this little ball right here. Oh, hold on, hold on. Everyone chill. Good girl. You ready? Roll. There you go. Good girl. So if you guys were wondering, this is called a Sprong. It's a dog toy that is super fuzzy, squeaky, spongy, chewy, floaty, squishy, velvety, bouncy, smushy, awesome. Sprung toy, six fifty. Wow. So this toy was six dollars and fifty cents. <laughs> so I think that she likes that toy a lot. <laughs> Let's get Britney Spears his toy because he's freaking out. Britney Spears, let's get your toy. Come on. All right, boy. Hey, you guys sit. Are you ready? Are you sure? Lay down. Good boy. Give me paw. Paw. Good boy. Okay, there you go. Good boy. What do you think, Hila? Do you like the ball? <laughs> Dang, this dog loves this toy. No take, only throw. Give me. Give me that. <laughs> Get it. I'm gonna get it. I'm gonna get it. <laughs> Man, she does not want to give up that little green squishy ball. This reminds me of the thing that Spunky puts in his mouth. If you guys have ever watched Rocco's Modern Life, one of my favorite 90s cartoons from Nickelodeon. Stop squeaking the ball! Anyways, if you guys have ever had one of these, they're called Nylabones. They are really great toys for huskies because they're an amazing alternative to rawhides. And if you guys aren't familiar with how bad rawhides can be for your dog, they put all sorts of weird chemicals and glue and coloring on them. So if you guys have been feeding your dogs rawhide, it's okay, but I would cease to do it as much as possible. Get them these, they're way, way, way better. Yeah, they're expensive, but they will last a million times longer than a rawhide and they're 10 times better for your dog. So what do you want? Do you want something that's just a little bit cheaper, but it's gonna kill your dog? Nope. Chill out, please.
going to see if this toy is worth your money, if you should go out and buy it. Let's see how long $6.50 lasts. I will let you guys know. So all it took was just 15 little baby bitty minutes. And look what we already did. We chewed all the foam off of this ball. Who did this? Was it you? Was it you? Did you do this? Or was it you? Did you do this? Did you bite the foam off of this ball? Or was it you? Brittany, was this you? That was you, Brittany? How could you? How could? How could you do that? It was brand, it was brand new. It was brand new. Hey, how come every time I buy you toys, you gotta chew them up? Explain to me. I don't understand. Someone explain this. You, you, you're the leader. You tell me what happened here. And then what? Okay. Well, neither of you are in trouble because I can't figure out who did it. <laughs> Come on, you guys. Get crazy! All right, everybody, thank you so much for watching. That's all for today. That's our episode. If you were wondering if that ball is any good, the answer is no. You can go ahead and throw this away out the door. It tears apart in two seconds and it's seven freaking dollars. Yeah, the dogs really, really enjoy it and they're really having a blast with it, but I'm telling you, this is only the second time right now that I've let them play with it. And if I let them play with it for more than five flipping minutes, it's going to be in a million little pieces on my floor. So do yourself a favor and save the money. Don't buy this dog toy. On the other hand, do pick up one of the Nyla bones. They are a little bit expensive, but they are durable. And they will last a long time. In fact, these dogs are still playing with the Nyla bone that I bought them in this episode, and it's been a couple days. So it's still a toy that they're playing with. Just keep that in mind if you guys are spending money on toys. All right, guys, thanks so much for watching. If you enjoy, please subscribe. If you're part of the Husky community, please hit that subscribe button. If you have anything you want to add in the comments below, you have any questions, comments, or concerns, write it down there, and I'll see you next time with whatever I make. Peace! Sweet.